Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. You're listening to another life-changing word from Pastor Kelly Anderson. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. As I was uh, preparing a message for today, Mark 9 and verse 23, it's pretty simple. All things are possible to him who believes. Right? We have power in our belief, our belief in Jesus. Amen. And everything he afforded for us on the cross. But what happens when we start to take the promises of God, when we start to stand on these promises, when we start to step out? Well, sometimes the facts want to present themselves to us. The facts want to say, well, it's impossible. It's too hard. How could you ever accomplish that? And the thing is, is we can't look at the facts. I've come to learn that God is bigger than the facts. Amen? The facts are going to try to convince you to give up on your dream or to settle for less. But we've got to keep persevering and we've got to keep standing and keeping our faith in our Father God. Amen? All things are possible to those who believe. There's so much power in the things that you believe. Your belief is more powerful than your bank account, than the medical report of the trouble that you may be facing in your life. God is bigger than all those things. And when the facts present themselves, even Abraham said he faced the facts that his body was old. But against all hope, in hope, he believed and he received the promise of God, that promised child. You know, Jesus was presented with facts all the time. Jesus, where there's one story in Mark chapter five that uh, uh, a synagogue ruler came up to him and he, his, his daughter was sick and said, Jesus, if you could lay your hands on my daughter, I know that she will be healed. And, and Jesus in that moment was like, take me to your daughter. Well, on the way to taking him to his daughter, he got delayed a couple times. In fact, his assistant, this ruler's assistant came to him and said, you know what? Time is, time is out. Your daughter is dead. And Jesus overheard and heard that man speak that. And he said, do not be afraid, but keep your faith. Jesus went to that home and and he said, that girl's not sleeping. Everybody started to make fun of him, started to laugh at him, ridicule him. He says, she's not, she's not dead. Sorry, she's only sleeping. And he called her to rise from the dead. And a miracle happened in the The facts are going to come to you, okay? But you've got to look at the facts and say, my God is bigger. My God is bigger than this sickness in my body. My God is bigger than the coronavirus. My God is bigger than my financial situation. My God is bigger than the drama in my family. And with God, all things are possible. You just speak those facts, say, no, you're not a fact in my life. Jesus is a fact in my life. And where the truth is, the truth will set me free in my life, amen? All right, well, if you're new here today, we say this declaration over our tithes and offerings. We say this together as a church family. Here we go. Thank you, Lord, that as your word is declared today, healing is coming to my body, to my heart, and to my family. I am freed from fear, addictions, and poverty. Your peace, joy, and love are flooding my soul. I am blessed. I am highly favored. I believe, receive, and act upon your word. And all of this by the strength of Christ within me. In Jesus' name, amen.